You know, I don't think we've actually seen the opening video to this game. I think I skipped it last time. That's so weird. It shows a big black bar, but... So this is obviously the four of them leaving the thing. Yeah, that's so weird. Maria! Furion. These, these were not in the original game at all. Leon! The guy that went missing. town of Finn. Maria looks kind of weird, though. And they all do. So that's the opening FMV to this version. Hi, Luna! Which is pretty cool. Need to go back and watch your last stream. It's on, Devin, it's, uh, I uploaded it to YouTube. It's on the YouTube channel. Uh, all right, Final Fantasy 2, let's go. So, hang on, I gotta show you, I gotta show you the difference here. You guys ready for this? This is what my grinding accidentally did. All right, so this is when we left off. Two hours, 17 minutes into the game, right? Look at our health, look at our MP. It's fine. It's where you should be, two hours, 15 minutes. Our gill, our steps. Hour, 48 minutes, yeah. Okay, reasonable. Ready for my file? The current one that we're rocking on? Ready? You guys ready? Only five hours in 39 minutes and I was able to get I was able to get, well, this is why, this is what I did when I was on the bus ride. This is what I did on the bus ride. Uh, so I have a shit ton of gill and a shit ton of, uh, well, I'll just show you my characters. So you saw what they were, right? I haven't touched the story, obviously. Why is that? Hang on, let me fix, let me fix this. This is bothering me, guys. All right, that's fine. That'll work. It just seems like the resolution. So, like, I can... In XSplit, I can adjust the resolution. This looks fine, though, right? This is good. It's just a little bar behind me, but that's fine. That's fine. Hello, Mitch. Uh, okay, so... Uh, what... I'm gonna... I think the way that I'm gonna start off this stream is by going and showing you guys what I did. Um, oops. Alright, so I guess you're gonna see the combat. And see how easy peasy now the game is.
These guys have like 20 health, guys. They have like 20 health. So what I did uh, is I took off all of their armor. So nobody is wearing any armor, meaning that they're building up evasion. Uh, Furion does not have a weapon equipped at all. He's rocking two shields to try to build up his evasion as quickly as possible and try to... Holy stats, exactly. Uh, try to do that. MP, 84 health, 1200. I'll, but I'll, I'll walk over how I did this because it's kind of important. Uh, even their attack stats are through the roof right now. Uh, the big thing here is actually the... Uh, her flame bow. So flame bow actually drops from the soldiers that are here in Finn. Uh, which you're not actually even supposed to be fighting them yet. They're kind of end game or near the end game, mid game, I guess. Uh, we're fighting them now and taking them down, no problemo. Uh, so they have a chance of dropping a flame bow and also golden armor. We have a ton of those. Uh, I have a mage staff, which is a rare drop off of a warlock enemy. Uh, the mage staff is phenomenal, and you should not have it this early in the game, but because of what I did, uh, I was able to do it. You can also see my weapon skills uh, are at about 9. Some of my magic skills are also probably pretty high. I think my highest on Furion is a level 6 Berserk and a level 6 Cure. Uh, hers is level 6 B Blizzard. Uh, level 6 Berserk on Guy. Level 12 is the highest on Minwoo. Uh, so these guys, in the last episode, I talked about how you can't fight them because they will just demolish you. Well. <laughs> so what I would do is, I'll just show you guys. Uh, cast Toad. Scourge, because I'm leveling. Berserk, because why not? And then, typically, I would just attack with uh, Minwoo. down a little bit oh wait that works okay so toad instantly ends the battle which is not what i wanted but you can just fight these guys over and over they don't actually disappear off the map that's to prevent you from going into the, any of the places that you shouldn't be uh so what i'm gonna do instead is i'm gonna raise that she's gonna cast toad because she's gonna miss but yeah these guys now i i like i killed i listen I destroyed the game. My bad. Like, it doesn't look like a lot of damage. But at this stage of the game, being able to affect those guys that much is huge. Uh, oh, and the other thing I got was a Berserk berserk Tome, which drops off of Warlocks. Uh, oops. Um, I'm actually just going to attack with Guy and Minwoo. But I'll, I'll, I'll like go through what I did in a video. Probably not in this stream, but in like a separate video. Okay, good thing that missed. Also, I think my food is here, so give me one second. Let me just finish this off. Be right back. <laughs> Thanks, Todd, for the food. Uh, this music rocks. Dude, all Final Fantasy music is so good. What kind of food? It's Taco Bell, the best food. Let me try to do this quietly. Hello, XD Freakman. Sad dude. Welcome to the stream. Vanessa, good to see you. Surprise! It's Taco Bell. I'm so excited. So, uh, it comes with a soft taco with potatoes instead of beef. It's the way to do it. Comes with a grilled stuffed burrito with potatoes instead of beef. A potato griller with potato <laughs> and a bunch of Diablo sauce because I'm a monster so thanks thanks for the thanks for the food toddy I appreciate it man It's so good. Oh, yeah. Fluffy Nugget. Of course there is. Baja Blast, man. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Wait, I kind of wish I said that too. So in the, in the thing, which I'm not even going to share with you guys...
the Baja Blast is keying out, I noticed. It says, I literally say in the order that if you get this for me, I will stare at you in the eyes while eating. Promise. <clears throat> so anyways, you know what keying is now? Yeah. What do you mean now? So, um, that wasn't yesterday. I didn't stream yesterday, nerd. Okay. So this is definitely like the best way to level up your characters, uh, early. The other way, oops, the other way that I'm going to show is a trick on how to level up your character's health and MP really quickly. And this is what I did first. What I get to eat? Uh, Toddy sent me Taco Bell. Fatty McFat Fat. Stop it. Um, okay. So this is far and away the fastest way to level up your characters. So kill these two. I'm going to defend with these just real quick. Oops. I forgot Furia doesn't have anything. Hang on. Pizza should be in about an hour. Oh, wait. Hang on. So it doesn't matter, so I'm just going to do this. She'll attack with this. Alright, so Guy is going to attack Minwoo. Minwoo is going to attack Furion. Alright, ready? So he hits him for that much damage. These guys are like wrecking each other. So she's going to hit Furion. He's going to actually hit Maria. And I think Minwoo can hit Guy without him dying. Yeah. Perfect. So you want to do as much damage to your own people as possible. And then uh, defend. Defend. Then with Minwoo, you use Sap against your entire party which uh, does damage to their MP, right? So you basically do this over and over. So I'll just defend with everybody because everybody's pretty low now. So you just use Sap. And even though this is a weaker enemy. Watch and see what happens. So super weak. HP increased. MP increased. Stamina increased. Magic increased. HP increased. MP increased. Stamina increased. Magic increased. Not even a tough enemy, but you can do that over and over and over again, and uh, you will literally just shit on everything in the game, uh, which is pretty cool. And the way that ends work in this game is they cost more the more health and MP you're missing. So if you can, what you want to do is you want to... seems like a fair and balanced system. Absolutely. So what you want to do is use Cure on all of your dudes, get their health as high as possible, and then go and do the MP thing. And, uh, you'll be able to stay at an end for fairly cheap. Makes your gay power grow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So that's how, that's how you start. And you can do that from as soon as you get Minwoo, which is what I would recommend. So you get Minwoo, do that, get your MP up to a reasonable level where you will survive, where you you will survive everything. I'll just do it in a. I'll talk about it in a video.
you expected the Pokemon Center? That would have been amazing. Wow. Kajad, that sucks, dude. Wow. That's embarrassing. Okay. So I think storyline where we were in the last last part, the last episode thing that we did, which was part one, uh, we were in Altair. We had to go get Mithril. We found Mithril. I'll just go back and, and do that so that people can see. Um, so Gordon's still here. Gonna have our oh yeah. I don't know how you ended up with three missiles after that. I don't know. So back inside here, we can go talk to um, Hilda. The Dark Knight overseeing the Dreadnought's construction was most capable. Fortunately for us, he's tending to other matters now. The theft of the Mithril has likely knocked the Empire off balance. I would like you to journey to Bofsk. Uh, if we're to stop the Dreadnought from being completed, this may be our only chance. We could ask. We have a man in Bofsk. He's found a way to reach the Dreadnought. Uh, at the very least, find a way to delay its completion. I have full confidence that with you and Minwu on this task, it will be accomplished. So that's our goal. We're heading to Bofsk. So we can go destroy the Death Star. I mean, uh... Dreadnought, sorry. Sorry. Uh, we also... Oh, this is the other thing I need to show you. This is the other thing. Okay. So, look at how much shit I now have for inventory. I have garlic, which drops off of the soldiers, the captains as well. Thunder tome. Uh, stun tome, blink tome, thunder tome, sleep tome, warp tome. Those all drop from ogre mages, which I was fighting. Uh, as well as warlocks. Flame bow. If I was to sell that, it sells for 2,000 gil. So, it's a really good way of making money. Golden armor sells for 1,000. And I have six of them. Just from fighting those captains. What is this game that you're not having your hand held in? Right? Right? Okay, let's go. Let's go through here. Uh, or not. So I can literally buy everything that I want right now. Like, literally everything. I have over 20,000 when I shouldn't. Uh, okay, so we're heading... There is a map. There is a map. And we're going all the way to Bofsk. Uh, which the fastest way to get there is to go... This way and do it. Yeah, no, no quest indicators or anything like that, though. Oh, and I equipped Maria with the, the flame bow just because it's one of the best weapons in the game right now that we can actually have access to. The ship isn't there. Hang on. What? Excuse me? The ship's left for Poft. Okay. What do, what do I... What? Hello? <laughs> I love that line. Maria's like, fuck you, dude. Aren't we supposed to... Palooms a town of freedom. Want to settle down here with me, handsome? No. Wait a minute. I think... No, never mind. I think I'm wrong. I'm trying to think of what we're supposed to do now. I forget. I totally forgot. Oh my god. What a... What a disgrace. I think we have to go talk to Joseph. No, not yet. 
But we can't use that yet. Busy day. Hi, Miles. I feel like I haven't seen you in ages. Here, let me unwrap this stuff. Hang on. Okay. We need a throwback picture of Miles on Discord. True. What do you mean, a video of you completely obliterating an ambulance? What does that even mean? I actually don't know what we're supposed to do. You were in a car accident June of 2016 it was caught on video? Did you hit an ambulance? No, I did not. I can do it if you want. Hang on, let me put one in Discord. Let me post this. It's so ugly. There you go. You're welcome. You're welcome. Yeah, I do not want to... I do not want to see, uh, you said gore. I don't want to eat and look at gore, to be honest with you. So I'm not looking at what you said. Were you driving the ambulance? Or did you hit the ambulance? Mild gore doesn't matter. Okay. So I'm supposed to head to Basque. Maybe I can head up this way. You hit the ambulance? Jeez. Wow. So you ran the stop sign. Thank God no one was in the back. It wasn't your fault. I mean, it was, but it wasn't. How does that even make any sense? That sounds like... That sounds like it was your fault. All right, time to use teleport. Uh, teleport is an also is also an instant kill uh, thing. But I'm gonna use Toad. I want to get my Toad to level 16 for a, a big reason. I mean, that's still your fault. Not my fault, but it's my fault. Yeah. And then there was. Yeah, <laughs> it sounds like it was probably your fault. Oops. Yeah, so we have to walk around. Um, the ship's not here. I don't know why. I think because I left it. Expect some trash talking? Yeah, seriously. Uh, hello, Neelik. 
Taco Bell's so good. Thank you, Toddy. I guess I'll have my leftovers later. Yeah. That's good that everyone was okay. Including you, because it looks like it could have killed you, too. Look at... This is absurd amount of damage. So, the damage that Minwu is doing... That flame shot! Oh, my God! The flame bow is so strong. So, pretty much for the rest of the game, we are going to be overpowered. But it's just kind of the way this game works. Um, and because it's not one of the best Final Fantasies, I think it's okay to, like... You know, get a little crazy. You know what I mean? But we're on a journey to stop the dreadnoughts. That's why you don't dig and drive. Yeah, if you would have hit the cab. I mean, we could take this airship if we wanted to. To Bafsk. Uh, but I think I'm just going to go around the mountain range. Not that I need the skills, but... We definitely crushed this game. We destroyed it. We absolutely destroyed it. Maedros, that reminds me. Did you uh, finish Final Fantasy 1? I hope you're playing... If you are playing it, I hope you're playing the PSP version. You did not. Shucks. Shucks. Okay, so that's the Dreadnought, by the way. Four forty two. My God. Two hundred seventy one. Woof. Too bad we can't get a throwback Madros pick, right? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if you can say that you saved their life, my dude. Okay. Oh, my bad. Okay, so in Bafsk, there is... Uh, we can talk to people. You're with the rebels, right? You've got to destroy the Dreadnought. You'll need a pass to board the Dreadnought. Interesting. There's a rebel spy masquerading as an Imperial soldier. If you can get to him, I'm sure he'll have some information for you. Important information. Is the Dark Knight ever going to get back? At this rate, we're going to fall behind schedule for sure. Get back to work, I swear. No one wants to work under General Borgen. Borgen, what's this? Back to work, work, I say. If we finish even a day sooner, my glory will be that much greater. Okay, he's an asshole. Making us work like slaves. I hate that, Borgen. Being used by a man like that really makes my blood boil. It's weird, though. I can't seem to remember what things were like when the Dark Knight was in command. Interesting. General Borgen doesn't seem to be willing to deal with these peasants as he should. Interesting. Okay, let's grab this. So I saved the drive. Right. All right. Uh, yeah. Fuck the Basuna. Uh, we don't really need any of the other spells that are there. I would recommend just getting Asuna. And the more powerful your Asuna spell is, uh, the more status ailments it'll cure. Up to six. After six, it'll cure everyone and everything. General Borgen took command of things in Bafsk a short while ago. Things have gotten much easier than they were under the Dark Knight. It's hard to believe a bumbling idiot like Borgen could become a general in the Imperial Army. Oops, you didn't hear that. Wild Rose. Aha, you're one of us! I had to be careful about what I did while the Dark Knight was here looking over my shoulder. But the great General Borgen is anything but. He's just a domineering blowhard. Okay, so, uh... Dreadnought. So you're the ones they've sent to destroy the Dreadnought. Don't worry, I'm on your side. There's an entrance to the sewers up ahead. It's a back wall leading to the Dreadnought. Be careful. If they see us talking, they may start to get suspicious. So I'm out of here. Good luck. Don't drive. <laughs> uh, what is this? Bofsk Cave. Guys, okay, listen. <laughs> So we're going into Baf's cave here, which is exactly where we need to go, because obviously the guy was blocking our way. 
Um, the thing with this cave is... We are going to destroy literally everybody in it. And it's not even going to be a contest. So... Um... I'm going to be working on my spells, I think. Which means I'm going to pick up some ethers. I think. Pleasant dreams. Alright, I'll see you, Ryan. Have a good one. Yeah, this cave is going to be super, super easy. Snip skill YouTube. Hello. Can I put a link in chat to my YouTube channel? I only have two subs. Nope. But thank you for your bit. Let's see. We have a sanctuary here. I want this. I think I can buy... Uh, I don't care about ethers at all. I mean, uh, high potions. I want to buy ethers. Cottages wouldn't be the worst idea either. I'm just going to buy some ethers. Probably five. Perfect. You sneezed and ran into a car in the parking lot? <laughs> that reminds me, I sincerely hope I don't sneeze again because uh, I might cry. It literally hurts so bad. Okay, we're in Bofsk, Bofsk Cave. Time I got in a wreck, someone was making a U-turn under an overpass, and then decided to sort of make an L-turn last minute, and I couldn't react fast. Oh, that's weird. Wow. Alright. So, in Bafsk, there is an item... Okay. Balloons. Uh, I'm gonna teleport. And then Toad, <clears throat> Zerk, Defense. Because I don't want it. I don't. Oh, we got a throwback of. We got a throwback of Madros! Oh my god! Madros's face! Fresh out of high school, Miles. Oh my god, Discord right now is amazing. I love it. Was that teleport or long sword obtained from the? Okay, so this is totally useless for everybody. This long sword, totally, totally useless. It's not as good as the mithril sword. Uh, so, you know, what's the point of it, really? Like mithril sword is forty nine. Long sword actually lowers my attack because of mithril, but it's fine. You shouldn't. It's fine. Not big deal. I'll see you, Kajet. Uh, soldier and goblins. Oh, I forgot I also have Blizzard on this character. Uh, let's use Teleport. Okay, perfect. Oh, that's the other thing. So, I guess I can talk about this. For fights like this, what you want to do is not attack the like see how there was there's three rows of enemies you don't want to actually attack the front row you want to attack the middle row oh perfect that means everybody will get a spell off nice because if there's three rows the back row can't attack at all, um, but the first two can. So if you take out the first, if you take out the first one, then the back row can. But if you take out the middle one, the back one still can. So it's really it works out really well. Majros got them good looks. Oops. Teleport on that. Oh, I also picked up Scourge, which is a spell that deals poison damage. Uh, not a big deal. You can also damage your own party with uh, with spells, just so you know. But it doesn't raise your evasion or your... Oh, wow, that killed everyone. Okay. That's a little too good. Okay. There's another item in here. Hello? Well, that was cool. 
Uh, maybe it's down here? Yeah. A long bow. Also not as good as the flame bow, so who cares? Majros looks good! Majros is hot! He's hot! This place actually doesn't have- Oh my god, there's so many! Uh, well... My hope is that this will... <laughs> okay, that killed almost almost all of them in one hit. That's great. That's so strong. That's so strong. So the faster our toad gets to 16, the better. Perfect. Landed. Although I don't know if we'll be getting any uh, magic ups from that. I guess the enemies are relatively the same ones that we've been fighting earlier in the game. But now there's just more of the same ones. Makes sense. Not nerdy at all. Yeah, not nerdy. That's so strong, my god. That's crazy strong. All right, let's head up here. So we have to go through all of these caves to sneak aboard the Dreadnought. I actually kind of like the story in this game. Like to go from to go from Final Fantasy One, which is story is literally kill these four fiends in these four different shrines and then kill the main dude. Huh. Who is this, I wonder? Like, look at our health right now. Has anything even touched us this entire time? Who is this? You're too late. The Dreadnought is complete. I've been working behind the scenes to see the project through to completion. End your resistance. Kneel before your emperor. It is the only alternative left to you. Consider what I've said. When the time comes, we will meet again. <laughs> Looks like you came all this way for nothing. See for yourselves. You guys ready for this? I'm super excited for this. Thank you for subscribing. Ready? Dude, the Dreadnought looks awesome. Wait, does it not do... Do we not get to see it yet? Hang on. Oh, oh no, we don't get to see. Oh, shucks. All right, so now we have to just leave. I think we can go back out this way. Oh, this is where we get the pass obtained from the chest. Perfect. And then I think we could just use this to get out. Yeah. Nice Zeppelin, right? So we're back in Bafsk. Um, I think. The Dreadnought, we're, we're do -do 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 doomed. They finished the Dreadnought. The world we know is over. You have to tell Princess Hilda that the Dreadnought's been completed. She may know how to stop it. The Dreadnought headed for Poft. Maybe it's already too late. Remember, they didn't take the the Emperor didn't take over Poft or uh, Palum yet. You should talk to Sid. He might know what the Dreadnought's weakness is. The Dreadnought's... Oh, shit. Didn't mean to do that. Is there anybody else we can talk to that isn't, like, crying? Uh, there's this guy in the back corner. We can see what he's up to. 
We did that dungeon so fast. A curious thing happened out of nowhere. A band of four surly wizards. Oh, we saw this already. If the mages were to fall. Okay, back down. So, uh, we don't get to see it. We get to see the, the Dreadnought taking off, but we don't get to see the destruction that it actually, like, does. And it's, it's good destruction. It's real good. You know, honestly, I'm thinking that I shouldn't even use... Shouldn't even use teleport right now. That's fine. Yeah, see what I mean? It's, like, not ranking up at all. Just because we've gotten so much more powerful than the enemies actually are at this point. Um, okay, we want to go this way. Bigfoot! Hi, Shiny Bob! What's up, man? This is what I mean. This is how strong we are now, guys. Like, oh, no. Still happy music, yeah. So strong. Way too strong. I broke I broke the game. And what's crazy is I didn't even grind that long. Like I literally only what? It, we were at two and a half hours before I grant grant gra gra did the grinding. And then <laughs> we're at for like five and a half hours. So three hours of grinding and I'm that strong comparatively. It's kind of crazy. Uh but this game's pretty much like you are either super underpowered. The entire game or you're incredibly overpowered the entire game and there's no like yeah this is an adequate challenge for reference the amount of damage that Minwu just did to that guy is the amount of damage that bosses have for health pretty much the entire game until way later like jeez Okay, I'm excited about... What's this? Arcane Labyrinth Southern Keep. We could probably do that right now. Which is kind of crazy. Um... I'm trying to think of, like, the next boss that we fight probably has... I don't even know where the next one is. Probably a snow cavern. Okay, how do I get to... I gotta get to Poft. I went the wrong way! Oh my god, I suck. We need to go up from Bafsk. My bad. You just realized? What'd you realize? There's also, uh, there's enemies later on that we can fight called souls. There's a red soul, yellow soul, green soul. Uh, they don't take magic damage at all, so you can actually just spam it. I was looking back at some of your old videos. Yeah, I have a, I have a, uh, a silent keyboard now. Stupid keyboard. Yeah, I got rid of that one. It's too loud. I actually got rid of that one a long time ago, though. You guys can hear Bean outside yelling. I'm gonna have to go get him. Hang on, guys. Let me go get Bean. A little BRB. He's inside. You haven't met Bean yet? Bean won't let me pick him up. He gets mad at me, yells at me anytime I try to bring him on stream. All right, let's go this way. He gets mad. Bean. I think at this rate, because of how strong we are in this game, I definitely think that we will beat it 
uh, before we have to. Like, I think it'll be done. Depending. Yeah, he gets mad at me. Bean has a mind of his own. <clears throat> Take the camera to him. If I had one of those Elgato cam links, I would. This meaty monstrosity that you call a sub. Sure, that's what you call it. Scan one from when you were 16. Oh my god. Oh. Uh, I see Erebus. This is so good. Oh my god, Maid Rose. I love your room. Is that your room? Her room. A man, you're 18 in that pick? Oh wow. Maybot has a face. Oh my god. The Discord is amazing right now. I love this. I love it. That's her room? Okay, that makes sense. I love how you scanned a picture so that we could see it. The Discord is the bee's knees. If you guys want to check it out right now, uh, wow, everyone's posting their stuff and you don't have access to it. Also, uh, Patreon. We are going for a hundred Patreons. A hundred Patreons? A hundred patrons over on Patreon. Uh, and when we do that, we're going to be doing a 24-hour stream. And the 24-hour stream is actually going to be Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Uh, and then probably something else. Um, something else thrown in. Maybe Civ 5. All the faces of all the nerds. Or Civ 6 or whatever. I want to play Civ so bad. Yeah, we are just crushing this game right now. It's great. Okay, ready? So, welcome to Poft. We were attacked by the Dreadnought. They're dead. They're all dead. Look at this. Look at it. The end, like, I love it. Because this is something that doesn't happen. That's why That's why I'm saying it, Devin. That we'll have another one thrown in there. Because the, like, the end still, you can still stay here. But, like, they actually changed the map. This is something that Final Fantasy 1 just didn't, it just wouldn't, you know what I mean? So it's super cool, I think, to see the different, like how far Final Fantasy 1 and 2 actually are from each other, because it's it's actually quite a bit. You folks looking for a ship? <laughs> are you? How many people are left in this town? Two? And then the shopkeepers? There were people all over this town before. There's none. None now. That's crazy. Super cool. Alright, we gotta go talk to Sid, though, because he will know how to take down the Dreadnought. Look at There's no... His entire crew. Gone. Uh, let's... Let's, uh... Let's ask him about, uh, the Dreadnought. What you want to do is blow up that thing's engine. Do that, and you can bring down the whole overgrown tube. Uh... Wild Rose? Airship? Airships are powered by Sunfire. Airships are powered by Sunfire. I'm sure the Dreadnought's no different. Mithril, yeah. So anything else he, he doesn't care about. So we could talk to this person uh, if we wanted. We're not going to worry about that right now, though. Never to be seen again unless some weirdo saved them. I didn't only saved a couple of them. Okay. Let's get this ship. So Sid just said that it's powered by Sunfire. Oops. Alright, let's see. How is Poft doing? Or Palum, I mean. Also destroyed. Look at this place, man. Look at it. I think, I think that's so cool. I'm hurt. Hurt bad. I don't think I'm gonna make it. 
My daughter. They killed my daughter. See what I mean? This game is so dark. This is like the darkest Final Fantasy. The Dreadnought attacked and destroyed the entire town. Like, the Emperor is fucking badass, dude. Trying to think if there's anybody else that we can talk to real quick. I don't think so. Everybody else is dead. Six comes pretty close. I mean, this one is like the, constantly people are dying. Your first quest of the game is to go talk to Scott or go go find Scott or whatever it is. Yeah, the Emperor is dark, dude. He doesn't mess around. He's like, I'm going to destroy you. And he does. It's okay, we're heading back to Altair. The Assassin. See if we can do it without an encounter. I love their, like, their casting things. Yo, 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 what's going on, Connor? Happy New Year, my friend. Happy 2019. Pukrik entered the world of Warcraft. Good for you. Good for you. Hope it's a good one. And finally, Altair has also been attacked. Gordon's gone. Probably dead. Oops. So literally, this Dreadnought that just left, by the time we got back, attacked all three of these places. There is nobody left in Altair right now. Maybe we could go talk to him. Doesn't say anything. How was everything? Great. Oh, yeah. It was a great, great New Year. Good times. Good times. Totally destroyed. There's no one around. Uh, hopefully, Hilda and all them are safe. You're going to kill the Emperor already, or what? There's a man in Poth named Sid who just might know if the Dreadnought has any weaknesses. Sid was the first person to ever build an airship, and the Dreadnought's really nothing but a big airship, right? Right. The Dreadnought's attacked, but at least our hideout is still safe. Everybody who is outside is dead. If we don't destroy the Dreadnought, the casualties will only mount. We'll stay here and hold out until you return. Altair wasn't spared. Lucky for us, the hideout was safe. Please, Lord, save our king. I'm s s scared. It's pretty cool, man. Let's actually go see the king. The king is not well. So we've lost Scott as well. Ask about the Dreadnought. The Empire would dare... Oh, he doesn't... Oh, he doesn't... Okay, yeah, he doesn't know anything about it. Okay. Yol Rose Boy Sid, that name. Hmm, I wonder. Hmm. Sid, airship? Hmm. Do we even stand a chance against the Dreadnought? You see, it happened just as I said it would. Obviously, the task was more than you could handle. Wow. Incidentally, I believe the king had something to tell you. Many were wounded in the Dreadnought's attack. The shock has even caused my father's condition to turn for the worse. I hate that my father has to see this. He knows... He knows his death is near. Is there nothing you can do, Minwoo? All those who live must someday die. It is our fate. Still, it is my duty as a white wizard to ease the pain of those who suffer. I shall remain here and devote myself to the care of the wounded. I take my leave of you. The fate of the world rests on you, Furion. Waste no time in destroying the Dreadnought. Minwoo leaves the party. Uh, so before you do that, you want to talk to Minwoo and take all of the equipment from him, including the incredibly rare and powerful mage staff that he had equipped uh, that I did not take off of him, which is actually fine. It's not that big of a deal uh, because none of my other people are going to be using staffs. Uh, but Minwoo's gone. We don't have Minwoo anymore. My father's condition has improved a great deal thanks to Minwoo. 
Uh, let's ask about the Dreadnought. Many lives were taken in the Dreadnought's attack. How are we supposed to fight something so terrible? Uh, that's it. Fail? Not really. It's actually not a fail. Menwu comes back later, don't worry about it. There's a reason for everything, my friend. Gandalf? Saruman? Let's talk to Memu. The king's illness goes far beyond the physical. There's little I can do. The Dreadnought is a massive airship, just likely they both function on the same principle. Airship? His rank, his honor, his family, everything. Mithril? He doesn't know. Wild Rose? Doesn't care. So many perished in the Dreadnought's attack. Perhaps it would be best if we surrendered to the Empire. No one knows more about airships than Sid. He was such a fine knight once. Ah, uh, how men change. Mithril? Uh, Wild Rose. Is there an item or something I'm supposed to do? I think it's the pass. Maybe the item is for... Uh, I can't remember now. I think it's for... So clearly we just need to go talk to Sid. Let's ask her about the past, see if she knows anything about it. Okay. No, don't go. Don't go. Spoiler alert! Huh? Hmm? Hmm? Oh my god, guys, it's not that big of a spoiler, okay? You don't even know if I'm telling the truth. Maybe Minwoo doesn't come back. You don't know. I'm known for lying. I lie a lot. Like a whole lot. Um, okay. So, we need to go back here. We need to use this ship again. He loves. Superman loves me? Oh my god. After he mentioned he had an OnlyFans account. Amanda, I think you're the only one to sign up for it. Thank you for keeping the dream alive. You want on the airship, you pay the guy behind me. Hang on. I have a question about the Dreadnought. What you want to do is blow that thing's engine up. Uh, ask about the airship. Learn Sunfire. Thank you. Airships are powered by Sunfire. I'm sure the Dreadnought's no different. Ask about Sunfire. Controlling Sunfire is a tricky business. Let the flames get too high. You got a runaway on your hands. The engine will blow sky high. All right. I want to show you, I think. No. Poor Amanda. Where the fuck is Leon? Hmm, I wonder where Leon is. He's gone. Oh, you know what? I screwed up the order of events here. That was my bad. So what you're supposed to do, what I should have done, is uh, f directly from Bosk, come here, go to Alt uh, go to uh, this place, Poft, right away. Talk to Sid, learn Sunfire, then go to Altier, and uh, that was my bad. I just screwed up, screwed up the order. I went to Altier first instead of learning Sunfire, and then we need to ask them about Sunfire. Not a big deal though. Oh, in every ten battles, your HP goes up. No matter what. Thought Todd was on. Oh, Todd is too, of course. It's too bad that we don't have that mage staff. I was wondering if I should keep it or not, but I think it's fine not having it. We'll get better staffs later, anyways. Oh. The mage staff is super, super strong. 
actually, you know what I should do? Let's go to a weapon shop and see if, I, if there's any other mithril items I can buy. Since we're loaded with gill now. That's armor. I don't need that. Let me go in here real quick. Mithril knife. Okay, I'm going to buy a spear. Just so that I have one. Let's ask them, ask them about Sunfire. Every three years, they celebrate a festival of the flame in Kashuan. During the festival, the Sunfire is passed to Eagle's Torch. Oh, interesting. Hang on, so. What does the king say? Scott sealed the gates of Kashuan Keep to protect the Sunfire in the event they were defeated in battle. You will need the goddess's bell to break the seal. So now we learn the goddess's seal. The goddess's bell. The whereabouts of the bell are known only to the Kashuan royal family. Like Gordon, for instance? We know him. Scott's dead, so Gordon would know where the bell is kept, but I have not seen him lately. Someone close to Scott or Go Gordon may know where to find it. I think I know where. Ask about. I've heard Scott and Gordon mention the bell. The gates of Kashuan Keep open only to the voice of a Kashuan or the ringing of that bell. The bell rests deep within a cavern on the snow plains. So it will not be easy to retrieve. So it is your intention to enter the snow cavern? Very well. If only Gordon were here, there would be no need for you to risk such danger. But he isn't, so you must. There is nothing I can do but pray for your success. Joseph knows the snow plains like the back of his hand. You should seek his counsel. Hmm. Sunfire is the crest of the kingdom of Kashuan. Its flame still burns on the ground floor. Oh. Scott and Gordon have told me many stories concerning the flame. The finer points of the tale are not known to me. However, I seem to recall that the flame cannot be passed to just any torch. Sid told us that we might be able to use Sunfire to destroy the Dreadnought. Then there's no time to waste. You must depart for Kashuan Keep at once. If you hire Sid's airship, the journey should not take long. That leaves only one question. What can you use to bring the Sunfire back? Okay, so don't go to Kashuan Keep. Don't do it. You might be interested in it. Uh, now we have to go find Joseph. A lot of this game is back and forth, because the map is actually relatively small. Um, let's actually... Uh, what do I want to do here? use a mithril sword or a mithril spear I think I'm gonna switch to the mithril spear for now just so that he starts learning some new weapon stuff um, what was I gonna do We can use this and then fly to Salamand. I think it's probably our the fastest way to get there. And since we don't need to fight any of the things, we'll just do this. Okay. So, uh, oh shit. Uh, what I want to do is go to Salamand, and then I can show you what I did to get my characters so strong. Like the order of events. So what I started doing is the beating on my own characters. That's what I started doing. To get their health high enough so that they could survive the fights with the people that I'm going to show you. Uh, so let's go to Salamand. 200. Jeez Louise. Oh, I got into a battle as I stepped onto the airship. Okay, that's cool. No big deal. Nice. Nice spear, dude. This is so weird. Okay. Alright, before I do that, I have to pee. 
I'll be back. My bladder. What's the highest damage? Uh, 9,999 is the highest damage you could do. Hello, Snickerdoodle. My bladder's tiny. Hey, listen. Blame the Baja Blast, okay? And like the six copies I had before the stream. All right, don't yell at me. Anyways, as I was saying, uh, we the place that I went is so Salaman's up here. Just showing this for anybody that's watching the VOD and uh, is curious. So we're at Salamand right here. We're going to go directly west. Just follow this around. And you're going to fight anyways. Anyways. I can hear him, but I can't see him. You can't see me? What do you mean? <laughs> uh, anyways. So we're going to go this way. Around this... Okay, we got some bees. It's fine. It's fine. Toad it up. It's fine. Oh, there we go. All is good. All is good. Okay, gone. Deleted. Okay, I got one toad. Perfect. Nailed it. LSD's finally kicked. Good for you! I was full of lots of energy. I, I miss the days where I was, too. Uh, okay, so. Anyways, uh, past this little river here. Want to come over to these woods. You have to have... You have to make sure that you have a certain amount of health. Or else you're not going to... Like, these things are going to kill you super fast. So, these are the fights that I was talking about. So, these are against four soldiers. Which, if you come here when you first can... This, this particular fight is super, super hard. Um, but if you train up something like teleport or anything like that uh, and train it up to a, in a certain amount where you can kill all of these quickly, um, you'll learn a ton of stuff. So this is exactly the fight that I was looking for. So these magicians have a chance of dropping, it's really rare, but they have a chance of dropping the mage staff, which is super, super strong. But they'll also use really high-level spells at this point. Like, if you come here when you first can, these guys are very, very difficult. But it's the best leveling. So you stay here until you have about 500 health. And then once you have about five to 600 health, then you go to Finn, and that's when you fight the guards. But you focus on taking these guys down first. Like, you, you use these guys to level up, which is awesome. Hopefully this toad works. Cool. So those are actually pretty high level. We actually aren't even at a point in the story yet where we fight those guys. Uh, but we got a Thunder Tome, two Antidotes, and a Potion. So the Magicians also have a chance of dropping uh, those. So we want to go... So this is how I started my grind. I was only here for like 30 minutes to an hour. Uh, dual heads, which um, are pretty rare, actually. These, this, this one, this, yeah, this would have killed me. The four of them would have killed me when I was trying to level up. But not, not, not now. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Uh, land turtles, which were a boss. Level 1 blizzard should be able to kill them in one hit. No. Well, level 6 blizzard, uh, 100% will? Yeah. Cool. Cool beans. Okay, I'm going to move on to Salaman. I just wanted to show that this is where you go to start the grind. So 
So that's where I was grinding when I had like 150, 200 health, is right, right in this spot. And those enemies are, uh, you know, not enemies you're supposed to be fighting right now. Ugh. We also have a ridiculous amount of health for this point of the game. It's kind of absurd. Guy's spear level increased. Good. It's like, not. We're way too powerful right now. I fucked up so hard. I did and I didn't. Pass with a C plus in makeup class. You should do it up. Post it. We're all nerds here. All of them? Oh, one. One. So the next big grind I'm going to do is uh, leveling Toad. That's going to be the next big one that I do. I want Toad to hit level 16 as soon as possible. You didn't do so well? I'm so curious now. The Nerd Herd! Dig it out. Dig. Missing baby. I just clicked on it. I just saw it. Somehow you still scare me, even as a baby. <laughs> so Salamand, take the mithril to Altier and give it to the princess as soon as you can. I already did that. So. Uh, is there any spells in Salamand that I don't have that I need? No. The only thing that I would maybe recommend is Sap, just so that you can do what I was doing earlier with the MP for any other characters I love Joseph but I know that when I'm around I just get in his way hmm so this is his daughter Nelly thanks for saving me we saved her from the you remember the cement falls in the last episode actually Scott kind of saved her but it's fine our husbands are back safe and sound Thank you so much. You're very welcome. Are you? Do you all say the same? Take the mithril out to you. Yeah, they all say pretty much the same thing. Hello? The strangest dream. I was chasing this flame around, but then lost sight of it. I don't know if these guys have anything that I... No. 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 So let's talk to Joseph. Looks like you managed to save my daughter. Thank you. That cowardly Borgen had been threatening Nelly to get to me. Forgive me. If there's anything I can do to help, all you gotta do is ask. The sun... Sunfire? You don't... You don't know Sunfire? What about Dreadnought? Since the Dark Knight took over, construction's been moving a lot faster. I hear it's done. Uh, okay. You don't have anything too much to say. Mithril mine. Yeah. Alright, so Goddess's Bell. The only way to reach the Snow Cavern is on my Snowcraft. I keep the snow craft hidden in the mine. There's a blue stone on the first floor that marks the spot. Look behind the stone and to the right. The secret room's there and the snow craft is inside. I'm sorry I couldn't help you find the mithril. So I want to make it up for that by pitching in now. What are we waiting for? Let's go. Joseph joins the party. So we got rid of Minwoo and we immediately get Joseph. And access to his snow craft. Nice guy. Uh, if we look at Joseph, though, he is barehanded, and that's for a good reason. He actually does way more damage, uh, than he does without it. Um, but we're gonna remove all of his armor. And see how he does. He only has 235 health. Whew, rough. Uh, let's go ahead and give him a... Hmm. 
What do I have? I have a Sleep Tome. No. Thunder Tome. Let's just give him a Thunder Tome. That'll help him build his MP up a little bit, because he'll be able to cast it. Alright, now back to Semit Falls, which is right there. Did you post it? Oh my god. Oh my god. You are so pretty. Uh, let's see how much damage Joseph does. Can we talk about... Look at Joseph's health right now. Where he is in relation to the rest of our party. 235 health. Everybody else is a thousand above that. That's where we should be right now. About 200, 200 and so health. It's so bad, so hot. So hot right now. Fire level one. Thunder level one. Took you like an hour and a half to do that. I love it. Fire level three. I love that the effects actually become cooler as the spell upgrades. Joseph, Joseph's magic and in intelligence increased. Perfect. Professor looks so disappointed. Oh, C plus. C plus plus. All right, let's defend. I'm gonna have everybody but Joseph defend. 82 damage. Not actually bad, man. Not bad at all. Yeah, you don't want to give him a weapon. He's actually way better without it. Um, he starts barehanded. It's because, if we look at his stats, uh, his skill barehanded is 2, everything else is 1. But also, his, like, the types of stats that he has. Right? Like, his agility is super high. Strength and stamina is really high. His agility is higher than Maria's. And, like, it's good. It's real good. Alright, into Summit Falls. So, we did this entire dungeon during the first part. I am not going to do that. Um, I'm going to use Blink. She's going to use Toad. Berserk. Attack. Perfect. Okay, that... 83 damage. If I tried using a max repel. Oh, I wish, right? Oh, that'd be so nice. Let's see. Three toads. All right, cool. Okay. I'm realizing I should have stayed at the end. Should have stayed at the end before I did this so that I'd have more MP. My bad. 107. Okay. Okay. Um. You know what? It's not too late. Well, I guess I could do this. Is he going to open it for us? Joseph turns a small rock jutting out of the wall and a passage appears. The Snowcraft is in here. What is, what is this place? Is this it? Snowcraft obtained from the chest? Excuse me? There's nothing else in here. 
I guess that's why that blue stone is there, just so that it's like a landmark. I don't really know. What's a snowcraft do? It's like a snowmobile. Goes goes on the snow. It's the only way to get up to the snow cavern, which is where we have to go now. Ugh. Really though, this is just a way this is like just a way to get Joseph to join the party. It's him being like, listen, the only way you're gonna be able to get there is with my It crafts the snow? It does not craft the snow. Jeez Luis. It just allows us to cross snow, the same way that you cross water with a canoe or... My god. Crafts the snow. Okay, I like when people's strength increases, that's good. So like how the canoe allows us to cross water, Snowcraft is going to allow us to cross snow. Which is good, because we need to go to the to the snow cavern, which is, you guessed it, surrounded by snow. What is a canoe? Is that in relation to douche canoe? Uh, so there's a canoe, which is the one we ride in this game, and then there's a douche canoe, which is me, which is the one that uses the canoe. You wouldn't understand. No, you can't, like, use these. I'm going back to Salaman, though, so I can, uh... One vampire thorn. Okay, cool. 